Hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here with the second part of the Long Haul series. Um, uh, seriously? In- er, uh, train? Why do you have to go through now? Ah, oh, those dinging is so annoying. Anyways, let's, uh... Let's just go in the inside here so I can continue talking. So, we are going from, of course, in the last episode, we went from uh, Camp Verde to here in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, today we are going from here in Tucson to La Cruz, I believe it is. Um, and so that will be the second journey. We have to stop for gas and stuff like that uh, along the way. And then the third part will be from La Cruz to Hobbs, which is the final destination. And now that that's done, I can go back out exterior view here. Um, and we're taking Freniger, if you had known already, uh, with the sell goods trailer. And uh, with my W900 that is all in its glory in the sunshine here of the Arizona sun. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. Let's start up the truck here and uh, get on the way. Hopefully everyone is doing well and enjoying this long haul series. Um, I apologize for the lengths. I mean, some of you may like the longer episodes of it, but um, this is actually just shorter. This series. Oh, I'm, I'm going anyway. Stop, car. Thank you. Um, I'm go. I'm uh, doing shorter episodes just so uh, I'm also testing out the map function with the uh, timing between waypoints and stuff like that to see how um, well it, it corresponds and stuff also f that's really for whenever this comes out in full I then have a good idea of what to expect when it comes timing and uh, so we're gonna discover this Volvo dealer hopefully yep we just did that's perfect that's what I like to see we're gonna make a left here just decided to do a little bit of a scenic route just so we can uh, discover that uh, let's go ahead. I think it's a four-way stop, so I'm presuming that guy is good. Yep, he's turned left anyway, so that is fine. So, obviously, we're just doing another short leg here. If you haven't seen the last episode, you should probably go check that out before continuing this one. Um, obviously, we just kind of talked and did some stuff there. Uh, not t nothing overly crazy. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the Wreckfest video that came out on Wednesday. Uh, that was a ton of fun to do and um, hopefully that all worked out or hopefully you guys enjoyed that and obviously if you want to see that one that will be in the cards as well like the last episode just prior um, to this one. Uh, you can go of, of the long haul you can go check those out in the cards above. Uh, that way uh, you can stay caught up with the latest stuff from me. So I'd like to thank everyone again for the continued support. Um, that's something I kind of just do as a standard just because um, I am amazed at the um, the support you guys are showing me on the channel uh, between gross and likes and comments. Um, the interaction is amazing. Uh, I just want to thank, I can't thank you guys enough for that. And kind of something I wanted to talk about is what's going to happen with my Prime Logistics series. What do I have lined up for it and stuff like that? Because obviously I can only do so much delivery wise and I have my ATS showcases that I do some weird stuff or I say weird stuff, some different stuff with. So what am I going to do with this series? Well, I have some cool things lined up in the near future. Obviously I wanted to bring them in actually it would have been around this time anyways. Uh, but obviously with 1.38 coming out into beta, those things are mods <laughs> and, and that's just a loan payment so I don't know, uh, don't worry about that. Um, I didn't want anything to happen with anything corruption or whatever uh, if something updates or goes out of compatibility. I want to know whenever 1.38 comes out in full and mods the whole kind of thing does a whole update on if for compatibility wise. I want to make sure I am safe and this save isn't going to go downhill because I really don't want anything to happen to it because uh, right now it's kind of a good one to do and we're going to just exit here because I need fuel and if you've been around the channel long enough you know I am one to run out of fuel or get very close to running out of fuel uh, quite often actually. It's something I hate to admit but uh, it's unfortunately true. 
and there's nothing much I can do. Um, I guess I'll go ahead. There's no one really coming, so I might as well go ahead. Uh, I guess I'll just, yeah, I'll go this way. Take a left at the light and uh, go in and refuel and then we'll get back on the highway to continue our journey. Um, one thing though, when I was looking on the map, um, I don't think I noticed it in the other episode, but Idaho is now this kind of lighter gray color. If you notice, or at least I think it is, yeah it is. If you kind of look right in here, you can see the color shading difference just slightly between the states that aren't even in game yet. So like even um, Colorado, which is right in here I believe, um, it's not even um, it, it's, it's not even that color. But you can see that Idaho is. Idaho is this kind of lighter gr shade of gray, So, it, which means that this definitely is the update prior to Idaho. Now we kind of knew that, but I just wanted to make that clear um, to those who were kind of possibly wondering what was happening there. Um, and yeah, I did notice it. I just didn't say anything, which is kind of bad of me to say. Um, I noticed it and I just nothing crossed my mind to say anything about it, which I mean, I'll take the blame, you know, but I figured I'd just make up for it in this one because I don't believe I've ever said that. Uh, so that was just something I noticed. Um, does it really make too much of a difference? Not really, but I figured I'd just share it anyways. Let's go in here and get some gas. I think I'm going in the wrong way. 100% am. Uh, yeah, I think I just went in the exit, didn't I? There's probably a sign saying don't go in there. Oh well, we'll swing around as long as that doesn't hit anything. Uh, what am I getting stuck on? What? Oh! That's not good! Hello? I'm trying to go backwards. Did I, like, clip into... What? Uh... I don't... I don't even... know what to say. Um... Okay, uh... Here's what I'll do. Give me a second. I'm gonna do some... console managing... <laughs> greatness, and I'll get ourselves spinning around, because that shouldn't... Ha I should be able to back up. I think I've just kind of got stuck on a hitbox or something. Yeah, I kind of graze the top of that, but I shouldn't be stuck on it. I should it should be able I should be able to back up because look at me look at it just kind of pushing into the ground so yeah uh, give me a second and we will be all fueled up and ready to go all right so we are all good to go just fueled up uh, yeah that's probably just a bit of a glitch um, that's okay that will probably be fixed or that's half my fault half a game kind of weird physics thing um, I don't know what to say. It's weird, but oh well, we're okay. We're gonna just get back on the road here, and uh, I don't think we suffered any any damage. The one percent is just road wear that was there before, and the four percent is too. And we have to go up into this one here. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get back on the highway and get cruising again to La Cruz or La Cruz. I can't. I can't remember how you say it, uh, so my apologies if I am completely butchering it, uh, which I probably am. Uh, that's just something that I do often because I'm not from that area at all, or not from the states at all either. So it, th I'm not, uh, I, I, I'm not familiar with those names. Let's just say that. Um, so yeah. Series, we'll get back to what I was going on before we had the exit. Yeah, so I've got lots of really cool things planned for this series, lots of developmental things, but obviously have to kind of take it in stride with the updates that are coming because, well, things need to be compatible and I don't want to take the risk with anything corrupting, like I said. And so that's basically it. ATS showcases, uh, whenever Idaho comes out, there will be a showcase on the map. There'll be kind of like a map tour thing. So that will be in that series. So that will be very cool to do. Um, and yeah, there's just lots of fun things coming out very soon, especially with ATS. I've got lots of other things planned uh, in the works for 
future possibly future content um there's obviously other series that i'm rotating around and doing um obviously city skylines um there's going to be another episode coming out very soon um with the continued work from there and uh so thank you guys for if you if you're watching this and you're a voter on that series thank you guys so much it's much appreciated for those who are participating in the polls and help developing that series because it is fun to do at least for me and yeah there's um there's a lot of really fun things um and a lot of amazing things that i have planned for the future obviously at 100 subs there'll be i am planning a very big uh special uh with announcements and a whole whack of stuff so i don't want to give that away but obviously if you're not subscribed you know what to do uh, if you want to see that come out we're growing rapidly so if you want to be part of the original 100 prime timers you 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 know what to do if you can if if not if you don't want to if you don't have a account you know what that's that's all up to you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna force anyone to do anything they don't want to do i mean i can't really do it anyways because i can just say it all i want but obviously you guys are the ones who have to put that action in uh and i don't want to annoy you guys so much by saying it all the time so i'm just gonna leave it at that and uh I'm for once not speeding because the speed limits here in um, the, or, like Arizona and um, New Mexico are actually higher, or at least as far as I know they are, because I'm not speeding yet. I'm gonna actually pass these guys. That's how, that's how great I'm going. Yeah, I'm passing you, Camaro knockoff guy, in that little teal color thing. I don't know what you'd say. We're gonna slot in here behind uh, the Sussex, well, I, I was going to say behind the Sussex car, but by the time I, <laughs> they kind of sped off a little bit by the time anything happened. So we're passing San Simon now. Um, whoa, that was a weird camera view. There we go. Um, which is good. We're making good headroom. We're going to headroom, headway. You know what I mean. Uh, it's one, it's about it's basically 10 to 2 in the afternoon here in game. I mean, we're just cruising. Um, there's not, it's kind of hard for me to commentate. I don't, there's not much really to talk about. At least that I know. Um, for those who are still watching in the episode, because we are getting farther into the episode now, because we're uh, getting closer to La Cruz. Um, this episode in particular is pre-recorded a little bit more than I would like to. I've, I've got a few things that I have to do um, besides, obviously, YouTube <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, coming up very soon, so um, that's why I can't really talk about anything that's come out ATS News related. Obviously, there's probably gonna, by the time this episode comes out, um, it's prob there's probably gonna be some form of new thing that I could have talked about. Um, but I apologize. It's one of those things where I don't have control over it. I'm going to be away, um, from my little setup, little, little setup here, I say. Um, and I, I but I still want to keep a consistent schedule for you guys. And I had this long haul series anyways. Oh, please pull in for a way station. Is that up here? I think. Yeah, it's up here on the right. Okay, way station time. We haven't actually done one of these for quite a while, so I mean, I'm not going to complain. Um, and I guess we haven't been out this way anyway, so it makes sense that we we should probably do a way station very soon. I think this is one of the newer ones, or the new styles, at least, um, that they have. Which is nice to see. And stop there. Hey, past inspection. 72,000 pounds. That's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. Now, saying that my uh, truck is quite heavy, too, I would say. So, I guess I shouldn't be really... I shouldn't be that surprised, but... Hey-ho, let's get back on the road here. Make sure no one's going to cut me off. That'd be really annoying. No, I think we're going to be good. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're getting pretty close here. And, uh, yeah, so I'll... Like going back to just before the way station. Uh, sorry again, I'm jumping around, but that kind of 
disrupted what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, so this episode is just slightly more pre-recorded. Not, I'm not saying like weeks in advance, but I'm saying just a few extra days than I'd normally do. Uh, but normally with my luck, there's a new thing that comes out. And so I talk about something that has that isn't even new so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna say well I'm sorry <laughs> I've got stuff I have to do so hey uh, there's nothing I you can do there am I gonna get passed by this yeah it is, it's a charger older style charger um, I like some of the names for like the knock like basically the well I like the brands for like the car names like uh, the Ford name is frog I think as far as I can tell, and there's a few other ones that um, I can't really I can't remember what they are. The frog one stands out because for like the Raptor knockoff, it actually says like frog, and like the logo of Ford says Ford, so frog says frog, so that kind of makes it easier. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, really simple logic there, isn't it? Um, but yeah, really. I, I like some of the knockoffs that they've done because obviously they don't want to buy the license to all the cars that are in there because they're already doing the trucks which are amazing what's the point of doing um, the cars as well because that's not unless like I would like to see more cars that I could drive in ATS which I probably will be doing some showcases after 1.38 with some vehicles itself instead of trucks but obviously 1.38 has to come out and things need to be compatible um, so yeah that's gonna be a little bit until that comes out and plus Idaho's once I'm presuming once 1.38 comes out in full um, that means Idaho will be releasing days if not week uh, like a week if not days afterwards so uh, that's what I, that's what normally happens and uh, yeah so I'm probably gonna be pretty busy anyways but it will give um, it will give time for stuff to update and stuff like that and then uh, we can experiment with some few things and uh, maybe get a car here in ATS uh, with a showcase or something and are the, you're gonna speed up there Mustang yeah I think he is but I want to pass these buses I spit on you buses I spit on you with my Kenworth engine Actually, it's not a Kenworth engine. I think it's a cat, if I'm not wrong. Actually, well, oh, I think I may have just hit the parking brake before I exit out. Let's go into diagnosis. Uh, it doesn't say. It just says 425. I can't remember. I'm presuming it's a cat, I, but I have to. Okay, so I'm going to escape and hit. There we go. Yeah, I did. I did hit the parking brake. So I, I hit I hit escape on my keyboard and then rapidly smashed the the um, space bar <laughs> because yes I have basic keyboarding things for that stuff because I have enough stuff on my wheel I keep some of that stuff on there um, yeah <laughs> just uh, basically I have my fingers on both of them just trying to get hit at the same time so it wouldn't lose too much speed and I think this was the exit for La Cruz but I think we're taking the second exit I think this is kind of like a main interchange but then I think we're taking like the secondary yeah we are I was just looking on the mini map there because uh, we're actually going into a rest area to uh, stop off here for the afternoon and I guess the final leg will be an evening trip I guess uh, it's looking like it because I think we're going to have enough time rest wise it's, um, and I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have left in the delivery which I guess is something I should check out but I'm going oh man only 15 miles an hour you serious really wow that's slow isn't it oh well where's a nice place to oh truck stop tour hey got an achievement Where's a nice place? Oh, this is a parky one, isn't it? Where's a nice place to park? Over here? Yeah, that's really built up over there. Let's uh, go over here. And all I'll do is I'll pull up here. And we're just gonna back up a bit.
and there we go. There we go, people. Take that off. We're going to turn off the light and turn off the truck. Don't need the rest, but uh, at least I don't think so. Let's look at the thing. Yeah, I may before the next episode. You never know. I'll decide that one. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, that's the second leg of our long haul. I know it's not too long, but um, I think it's just a nice way to break up the episodes and uh, break up the journeys a little bit that way it's not so long it's not like an hour long episode or more because uh, that would be hard for me to commentate i'm gonna be honest uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to watch out for the third episode of the showcase and or not showcase of the long haul i'm thinking of the wrong Think I was talking about the AT showcases. I'm going nuts, so I think we're gonna have to call it before I start rambling on too much longer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.